Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Studio Series Gamer Cliff Jumper. You're going to see the transformation of Bumblebee, though, which, as you can see, is exactly the same mold. It's also a tutorial, so I hope it helps you out. Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Studio Series Gamer Bumblebee figure. Just a reminder, this is only the transformation process and the video review is separately uploaded. Also, this guy really is quite tricky to transform, so this is the tutorial and I hope you find it useful. Let's start off with the shoulders then. Take these shoulders and literally turn it right up till you hear that click like so. Same on the other side and they're completely turned on themselves. Now let's get the fist, fold this over and then rotate the wheel and it'll just do a soft click into position there. Same on this side, fold the fist in and then what you're doing is you'll spin the wheel around and it will just sort of softly drop into position there. Now, if we take the whole front of the chest cavity, lift this all the way up over his head. I'm now going to rotate the waist just before I forget and leave that like so. And then also this part here, I'm going to fold this down. Just clear the wheel arches a little bit if you need to and push that behind his head. Right, this is where it can get kind of tricky. So what we're looking at doing now is because we've pushed the shoulder back, we need to bring these in as well so let's start to if that happens don't worry about it hopefully as you can see it's not too detrimental you can carry on just bringing it around now what's happened with that is it's not lined up properly so i'm going to bring it back out like so turn it up the way it should have been and then connect it in to be honest because what we needed it to be is like this so coming back like so there you go so the way you can tell it's the right way around is that the red will meet at the bottom there so unfortunately as you see mine just popped out this one hopefully won't that's better maybe if you hold it right there it'll be more useful to yourself bring that back start to pull the wheel arches out then hold onto the shoulder a bit tightly rotate the gray part there which was his bicep bring this underneath there's a cut out there and there's a little tab up here and then this will fit and click into place nicely just like he says but it does there we go it's just as i say it's really fiddly guys i'm not going to fib to you it's a really fiddly figure i've just lined that back up there so same on this side rotate that underneath make sure the wheel arch is out start to bring this under and then clip that into position like so there we go that is the front part done then Right then, moving on to the lower part, and again, it doesn't get any easier. What we've got underneath here, and if I just lift this out of the way, see you've got like these two tabs, they're going to fit into the back of that. So what we're looking to do is just to lift this up ever so slightly, and you can see that this grey part is just going to fit rather snugly. There you go. You've got to get that before you do anything else, otherwise you won't get very much further. Right, now what we're going to do, we're just going to set free the wheels on the back, like so lift these up ever so slightly and this is where also it's again it's just not easy you're going to rotate this around and underneath itself so you see it was there so you're going to open it up and then twist it around at that joint underneath itself once you've done that it is plain sailing to be honest with that side because you can line all these bits up you can see where all these are going to tab in and we'll come to the back we might as well do it now then so let's open up the little part oh that's typically just fall it off Fold that round there, and I'm going to put this back in just so you can see where it went. I'm not having any luck today, am I? That will fit in there, and then it will push back there, and then this toe part will clip in the back there. So what we did with this is we're going to open up there, rotate it down and around at the same time. Oh, no, I spun at the joint. We don't want it spun there. We want it to come around. And underneath that's how we wanted it to go and that one's come around and again same principle as the other side start to line all the little tabs up like that now we can open up this fold that in there close the foot part up push that down there and now thankfully the easy part is just to put these hot cutouts and these tabs lining together and put it together like that like i said guys as you can see it wasn't too easy but there's the alternate mode so then let's take him back to robot mode and also as again i know i keep saying it but this can be quite tricky just going backwards let's lift this up out of the way let's open up the what is going to be the foot 
and bring this around there. Once we do this, we're gonna detach this. And then if you remember, once we detached it, we twisted this around and out and straightened it up. Click that into position. That's gonna be the leg. Click this around there. That's gonna be the foot. And that indeed is one of the legs. So same for this side then. Bring the foot or the toes out, lift that up, disconnect here. And remember, you've got to turn it around like so as you do so. Straighten up, tab in together, clip that around the wheel, and then straighten and line up the toes. Right, that is the legs done, but don't forget we need to switch them around in a second. So turn our attention to the arms, disconnect these here, disconnect that at the shoulder that side. Same here, disconnect underneath and bring out. Then what we're looking to do is separate this back part. That's where it was tabbed underneath. Now we might as well rotate this at the waist. This is gonna be the easiest, easy, the best way I've done this, to be fair, it just seems to have flowed quite well, which is good because it's on video. Right, now we're gonna lift that out of the way, bring this whole chest part up first, which is the front. There we go, because we need to lift this out of the way and close underneath. Then you can bring the shoulders out like so. These are what's gonna stick under there. So I'm gonna be careful, because as you've seen, one of mine already is popping off. Then you can bring this over, clip it right the way down, right. Before I go to the shoulders, let's bring the arms down. That nearly, no it did, it did pop off. Correct at the bicep like so. Rotate the wheel round, turn the fist, and now I know that's backwards, so I need to turn that around. And bring the shoulder up, rotate that there, so the bicep's there, turn that out, put that there right there you go so even though a couple of things popped off and you saw it you saw how easy it was to pop them back on but again it's not the easiest to transform so i hope this helped you out thanks for watching guys